Welcome to a uh, complete SQL tutorial video series. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss about the uh, DML operation in the uh, view. So uh, this concept is basically very important uh, for the uh, interview point of view. Uh, basically, uh, if you talk about the uh, real time uh, working functionality point of view, so uh, the uh, we never use the DML operation in the view. Uh, just uh, by updating the table uh, through the view or deleting the data or inserting the data uh, but definitely if you are uh, going to attend the any type of the interview related to the SQL uh, definitely they will put you the this type of the question uh, basically uh, the inter interviewer will trying to figure it out that uh, you have the uh, complete knowledge and the understanding on the uh, view or not so this video I'm going to discuss uh, what scenario are uh, you able to apply the uh, DML operation in the view or uh, what scenario uh, you uh, will not ap apply so what condition we have so I already discussed under the video number 43 that is the uh, view in the sequence in the detail so if you uh, didn't get a chance just you can look up the video number uh, 43 uh, before starting the video number 44 so uh, let's start with the video number 44 and uh, exactly uh, what is the DML operation in the uh, view. So uh, this is the uh, my SQL Server uh, Management Studio and uh, I already selected the database here. So uh, I have one table that is the employee detail table. So the main uh, the main agenda for this video is the uh, data manipulation language. Okay, so data manipulation language query in a view. So a uh, data manipulation language query is nothing but the create, uh, alter, sorry, cre uh, uh, insert, update and delete. So insert, update and delete three query which is the comes under DML and can we apply DML operation in a view, uh, just updating the view, it will impact the uh, core table. That is the main uh, concept here. Okay, so. Uh, we can use the uh, SQL view to insert, update and delete data in a uh, single SQL table. Okay, so if you have any table uh, which is the pointing the single SQL table, then only uh, you can uh, apply the insert, update and delete. And also uh, while we applying, we need to be uh, uh, following the uh, whatever the concept we have. So the first one is the we can use the DML operation on a single table only. So if the view is pointing the single table only, then uh, you can apply the DML operation. And the condition is if the whatever the column is not included into the view and that column is not accepting the null value, that is the not null constraint is applied, then you cannot insert the data in by using the uh, view. I will discuss this practically how we can uh, working okay now the next one is the view should not contain a group by having distinct value if the view have the a group by clause having clause and distinct clause uh, then you cannot apply the DML operation next uh, third one is the uh, we cannot use a subquery uh, we cannot use a subquery in a view in a SQL server so if you have the uh, sub query in a SQL server uh, or, or the view uh, we cannot use the uh, DML operation so these three uh, point you need to be always remember so let's see uh, how the DML operation is applied if that they pointing the single table so I have one table imply detail table is there okay so in the imply detail table you can see we have the data so I am creating the tab view by using the all the column which is available into the employee detail table. Okay, so now you can see uh, this view is got created. Uh, now second view which is the employee detail 8 uh, view name is there. I am creating the employee ID, employee name, employee CT and uh, I am eliminating the uh, means we are not considering uh, the salary column which is available in this table and this salary column is the basically uh, not null constraint so not not null constraint is applied in this table so uh, once you create this view and uh, if you try to insert the data so you can see employee salary column is not included here and uh, uh, if you select the uh, employee detail 
uh, eight. Okay, so this is the view. The salary information is not giving. So uh, employee detail, employee detail table. We have the employee is the primary key identity column is there, and uh, salary column is not there. So if you try to insert the through the view uh, like Priyanka and Jaipur, so you will get the not null constraint error because uh, we not in inserting the salary column implies salary column so uh, this is the also you need to explain in the interview that if the other column which is not included into the view like the salary column is not included and that column we have the not null constraint then we cannot apply the insert update statement even the pointing the single table so uh, i have second table uh, second view uh, which is the employee seven which is the pointing all these uh, uh, columns so we can apply the uh, insert of statement okay so if you insert the data data got inserted uh, so you can see uh, we have the uh, column name or number of supplied value does not meet the uh, table definition so last uh, video uh, i already discussed about the uh, we uh, added the sum of the view so uh, let me uh, so let me uh, create this uh, table again and uh, because we in this table uh, we have this uh, you can see imply detail table if you see the imply detail table uh, we have the uh, yearly income okay so you need to pass the yearly income also okay so uh, basically uh, we have the salary and the yearly income so just you can put a yearly income like for example uh, one lakh uh, seventy uh, thousand something you can put uh, whatever value it is not the exact value you have so now if you insert uh, you can see the data got inserted so now if you see that we inserted into the view which is the implied table 7 this is the view name but data got inserted into the core table so now you can see this data got inserted into uh, this table and now implied 5 we have the name is the uh, Sanjeev but if you updating the Raju uh, it got also updated if you finding the same table you can also delete the data so data got deleted employee 6 so if you can see uh, the core table uh, there is no employee 6 information is there so this is the concept of the uh, dml but if you have the table which is the uh, pointing the multiple table uh, like uh, this view uh, which is creating by using the pointing the multiple table so by using the uh, so by using this uh, imply context so this table is not available so first we, uh, let me create this table okay so uh, we already have this table on the last video uh, we created okay so let me uh, create this table so imply detail table we have so uh, imply contact table we already have now i i'm uh, creating the imply contact table so now you can see uh, if you create this view by using the multiple table and uh, if you try to uh, update the some data or insert the data uh, you will get some type of the error something that uh, uh, view or function is not updatable because modification affected multiple base table so whenever we use the multiple base table uh, we cannot perform the dml operation with the view so this concept we always need to be remember uh, we can update view if contain multiple table uh, so basically uh, so basically next uh, uh, concept is there so uh, uh, we have uh, some uh, group by clause having clause distinct clause uh, then you cannot use the uh, any dml operation like for example uh, we have this uh, view is created and we use the uh, group by clause okay so uh, so here uh, we need to first create then we need to uh, select the data okay so when you create this one and then if you select the view you can see this view got created but if you try to update or insert or perform the delete operation in this table uh, you will get an error message uh, cannot update if the view employee detail because it contains the aggregated or distinct or the uh, group by clause and pivot or unify word so basically uh, if you have the view and uh, if you are updating the view having the any aggregated function uh, you cannot update the view the last one if you have the view is the pointing the sub query like for example uh, this is the view uh, which is the sub query pointing but if you try to access this view uh, you can see 
uh, if you try to insert the some data into view uh, you will get some type of the error that is the conversion fail uh, mumbai something is there so basically uh, whenever we have the some type of the multiple uh, uh, sub query used into the view so you cannot perform the dml operation so this is the all about the dml operation in the view in the next video uh, i will discuss about the if and case and control statement and the while loop cursor uh, then uh, we'll jump to the store procedure uh, that is a very important topic so uh, keep watching all the video one by one and uh, learn the sql and become a champ so thank you for the watching this video we'll meet again next one thank you